What's up, family? This is going to be a real sensitive video. It's going to be real heartfelt. Something doesn't want me making this video because this is like the fourth time I'm having to make it. My phone kept shutting off on me, but I believe it was going to go through this time. But it is what it is. I recently had a young lady reach out to me. And I felt, when she first contacted me, man, I felt her pain. I felt that there was a lot of confusion and turmoil surrounding her. It's like, okay, man, what's going on with this one? <laughs> you know what I mean? She, let me see what I could do to help her. And so I reached out to her and was like, hey, contact me on such and such. Let's, let's talk. She did. And she just started dumping and it's like, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It is just. <sighs> she was like real emotional crying. Man, what's wrong with me? And man, how come I, I just can't be happy? And it's da 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 da. And I thought he was the one and he was my soulmate and you know, all this other stuff, right? And, and he left and he won't talk to me and he cut off all communication with me. Just blah, 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 blah. And she was like really just stuck on it being her. So I asked her, I said, man, what's, what transpired in the relationship? And I'm sitting back and I'm kind of taken back because I just went through this recently. Hey, you know I me. Mean? And so I'm like, well, what transpired? And she's like, I don't know. It's just, you know, she just all. And it's like. <sighs> I told her, I said, you know what? I listened to her finish talking. I said, you know what? <sighs> it's not a coincidence that you contacted me. I said, I just went through this. I just went through this. And she's like, well, how did you do it? And da, 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 how'd you make it through this? I said, same way you're doing. <laughs> I said, I bawled, I cried. I, I was devastated. I was broken, crushed. I was done. I said, I struggled the same way you're struggling with it. I said, but you know what? I, I've realized, I said that I was driving to work one day to help this elderly lady. And I, I, I spent a lot of time meditating. I spent a lot of time talking to God and just, you know, just, I'm very connected. And it's like, I couldn't understand how I missed that connection. I couldn't understand how I got that wrong. I couldn't understand how I misinterpreted this young lady being the one. How could I miss that? What was, what was wrong with me to where I missed that? And if I missed that, then what else was I missing? I said, I was driving to work one day. And it hit me. I heard this voice. And all I could do was smile. I said, you know what? It occurred to me that I did what I was supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do. She was the one. We had a great connection, a great bond. But you can't make somebody else face their issues. No matter what you do, no matter the environment you create, you could create a loving, patient, compassionate environment, you know? But if they have something that they're terrified of dealing with, 
it don't matter what type of environment you created. If they're not willing to face that fear, they're going to tuck and run. They're going to run. It's fight or flight. They're going to run. For whatever reason. You can't make somebody stay. You can't make somebody face their issues and their insecurities and their fears. They have a choice to fight or flight. Fight or run. You now have a choice. Not like what are you talking about? You can become bitter. You can become angry. You can become judgmental. You can become hostile towards that individual. Because they broke your heart. Or you can become loving, compassionate. Empathize with their pain. The choice is yours. And the truth be told, the great majority of us, when we go through something like that, when we get our heart broke, man, it's it's all bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all bad. Man, we don't trust nobody. Ain't no dude. Ain't no woman good. Everybody's crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all bad. If we do give somebody else a chance, man, we guard it and we're protecting and we're not going all in like we should. And, you know, we're reserving some parts to us. And it's like, man, I'm I'm watching you, but I'm not I'm not giving 100 percent because I did that before and they, I got hurt. I did that before and I was broken. I did that before and I got I got abandoned. I did that before and and it devastated me. So I'm not doing that no more. And that's what the great majority of us do. And then we start watching and waiting for them to mess up. We start watching and waiting, expecting them to do something. Because it's too good to be true. And we know that because we've been hurt in the past, this one's going to hurt us too. We have to learn to heal. We have to learn to let that stuff go. Now, Sharon, what I said, you know, so now you're, you're faced with the options. You're faced with choices. I said, and it's ironic that we look at that other individual who didn't want to deal with their insecurities, who didn't want to deal with their issues. And so they ran. We now have situation we have to face are we going to deal with our issues or are we going to allow what they did to change who we are are we going to become now judgmental are we now going to become hateful and despiteful because of what somebody else did to us are we going to become untrusting because what somebody else did to us. The choice is ours. And ours alone. We can't allow what other people do. To change who we are. We did everything that you were supposed to do. You did everything you were supposed to do in that situation. You showed that individual that you loved them. And that you cared about them. And that. You guys had this great bond and this great connection and whoop de whoop de whoop and what could have been. You gave them that. You showed them how much they were worth. You showed them their value. But they couldn't accept it. They couldn't embrace it because of their issues. That's not your fault. Don't beat yourself up because of their issues. Don't allow their issues to become your issues. Mm -hmm. 
Don't stop being loving because what somebody else did. My hope and prayer is that we can all see and understand that we all have things that we have to work on. Every single one of us has something that we have to work on, that we need to work on, that we need to resolve. And so we can't become judgmental and looking down at other people and, and blasting other people because they have stuff that they need to work on. They have stuff that they need to resolve. And just because they didn't resolve it or deal with it the way we wanted them to, truth be told, we got stuff that we're not dealing with to resolve in the way that we're, we're supposed to. So we can't judge them. We can't look down on them. On anyone. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.